All right, parthenogenesis. What is that? Oh, it's a lovely word for one thing. Parthenogenesis. Partheno means what? Virgin. Genesis means birth. And so whatever it is, it involves, or it does not involve what? Does not involve fertilization. And so uh, parthenogenesis is a process that some species do, not ours, but some do, that is a detour from this basic animal kingdom life cycle. So this is not part of that five pointer for test four. This is explaining something in addition, a detour explaining parthenogenesis. And so, uh, where does parthenogenesis begin? It begins with an egg cell. And uh, what's the normal thing that happens to egg cells? in uh, you know the basic animal kingdom life cycle egg meets sperm fertilization right but here we're talking about parthenogenesis virgin birth no fertilization what does that egg do if it doesn't get fertilized it takes a detour it divides by mitosis it divides by mitosis now uh, you might be thinking professor We've learned about mitosis. It didn't have anything to do with haploid cells. Here's the diagram you ask us to learn. It looked like this. The parent cell was 2N, and assuming cytokinesis, you got two daughter cells, and they were both 2N. That's all you've taught us, Professor. That's what you told us. It doesn't, mitosis has nothing to do with haploid cells. Well, it's time to expand your horizons, because in nature, there's an awful lot of haploid mitosis going on. But the rules are the same. Uh, the only thing different is that you start with a haploid cell. But other than that, it's, the rules are exactly the same. Assuming cytokinesis, you still get two daughter cells. And the chromosome number does the same thing. What's that? It stays the same. So in haploid mitosis, if the parent cell is in, what are the two daughter cells going to be? Yeah, you're right, they'd be in as well. And so out in nature, there's a lot of haploid mitosis, including this process right here called parthenogenesis that starts with an egg cell. So the egg cell, which is haploid, divides into two haploid cells. Those divide into two and two and two and two. And finally, you get a, lots and lots of haploid cells. Fact is, you have the development of a haploid organism. And so, what would that be? It would be an organism in which every single cell is haploid. Hmm, something different. We'll get an example in our little concluding video. But that is parthenogenesis, a detour from the basic animal kingdom life cycle. What's the kind of the normal thing that you normally think of happening to an egg? It meets a sperm cell. And what takes place? Fertilization. However, in these situations when in which parthenogenesis takes place, and if you want to see a bunch of them, you just Google it. We'll talk about one in the final little video. But uh, there's there's a number of species in which this takes place on a routine basis. How does it work? Starts with an egg cell. An egg cell divides by mitosis, haploid mitosis, and you get more and more cells, and actually you get a full-fledged haploid organism by this process called what? Parthenogenesis. There you have it. All right. Bye-bye.